Hey guys, VeritasDH here with another uh, video in New World. Today we are going to look into base defense for outposts. So, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video because I don't want to make it too long. It's going to be a little bit of an unedited thing, so I'm, I'm still learning to edit some YouTube videos. But, in any event, um, so base defense is something I haven't really seen covered too much on any of our New World videos for outposts. and be surprised how effective it actually is. Um, so by base defense, what do I mean? I mean by collecting resources and building up your little outpost, the one nearest to you, it could be even the one sun, star, moon, you know, you name it. But it's really important when it comes down to games that are kind of like really, really close. I won one earlier actually to where um, they snipe the Baron at the last little bit of HP and it almost screwed us over <laughs> completely. Um, but yeah, for priorities for effective uh, base building, what you want to do is obviously get the gates up. So what I'm doing here, uh, obviously mine is taking down this uh, Dryad Archer, is I'm trying to get as much wood as I can. This wood is going to be used to build up the gate primarily, so that's how we start our little bit of our base defense. So. What we want to do is we want to get, I believe the number is 80 wood, 40 for each side. Once that is completed, you're going to start working on our little center area. When we complete that, it allows our team to spawn instantly, instantly, I don't know how people do that, into our uh, outposts. That's why sometimes if you notice when you die in this game, and you're like, what the hell, why am I ported back to our main fort? It's because your outpost uh, wasn't fortified enough to be able to teleport in. And it can be really effective against going against the other team, rezzing faster, for obvious reasons. As you can see, we're already kind of like down a little bit, but you know what? Sometimes it takes a little bit of investment to win. Sorry if you hear my bunny in the background, by the way. But yeah. And then, um, as soon as we get those two points secured, there's really two ways you can do it. Um, if you want to take the fun approach, there's actually, uh, three turrets on here. Well, well, two repeaters and a optional, um, oil vat. Then, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't really do anything. They have to be on that side. It's not on both sides. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I would just say primarily I would upgrade the tent. And the tent... What it does is it adds buffs to your whole um, group, so it's like a command tent. So what you want to do with that is you want to start mining and getting a crap load of wood and ore. Um, obviously skinning is important too, that's primarily used for the center and upgrading the later tiers of your command center. So what I like to do, just so people know, um, when I start the game, if I start down here, I start over here, then venture this way, loop back, upgrade everything. If I start down here, as you see, I just go up here, or start here, go up here, loop back, and then repair there, and start building. And I endlessly go in loops. I try to avoid fighting if I can, because if you die, you kind of have a lot of resources on you since you're a PvE hero, as I like to call it. So you definitely don't want to give the other team the advantage. I mean, obviously you can add in stuff, since Adam is not really used for it, you can use it for brutes and different things like that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, your main job is to delay the enemy as long as possible. As you can see from this game, we're probably going to have a close game. The, the other team apparently has a pre-made and outgears us slightly. So this is going to be definitely one of those games where playing base defense is one of our only options probably for winning along with killing the Baron. But yeah, so like I said, this was a shorter video. I just wanted to show you guys the perks to base defense and how to play it. A lot of people don't go after it in games, but I think it's a more strategic way of winning. And now since they changed up the way uh, your rewards work, where if you lose you... Uh, actually lose um, a good chunk of your money you were going to get for winning and the only way you can get it back is uh, by being in the top 10 and surprisingly building base defense it moves your rank up pretty fast just by uh, killing things and buying things and spending points on things but yeah 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and gave you guys some tips and help you win a couple of games in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on my videos uh, to keep up with more New World content and variety game content, I guess you could say, because we'll be putting in some WoW and some other stuff in, in the upcoming future. Um, make sure to follow my TikTok, Instagram, and my Twitter. Um, they are in my YouTube link. And catch me live on twitch.tv, VeritasDH. I look forward to seeing you all there. Be having a fun stream this Friday or er, uh, Saturday <laughs> for um, a little bit of a dress up. Be dressing up, but yeah, I look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you so much for watching the video, and hopefully, I don't die to this guy. But thank you so much. Have a good night, guys. All right, bye bye. As I die. <laughs>